Today we're in Shanghai, China to try a real driverless taxi to see how far we've come. So exactly how close are we to having robo taxis filling up our streets? Well, if you listen to Elon Musk, we're probably just a few weeks away, but the reality is quite different. While cars are getting smarter and driver assistance features more advanced, they still mostly require a human behind the wheel and their eyes on the road. Yes, there are robo taxis out there in the world, but how close are we really to a driverless society? Today, we are in Shanghai, one of the world's busiest and most tech forward cities to try a real driverless taxi to see how far we've come and how far we still have left to go. Let's get into it. So I'm here in the suburbs of Shanghai to see what China's robo taxis have to offer and if they can compete with America's. Okay, so we've got our car and it's around 12 minutes away, or it was around 12 minutes away, which is a little bit longer than you would uh, expect to wait for a normal taxi. Uh, it also required me to come to a specific pickup point and obviously the coverage is only in certain areas of the city. So our car is going to be arriving any second now. In fact, here it is. Here's our Lexus coming in, a huge, huge uh, unit on the top. Oh, and it's got a safety driver inside as well. So let's get in and see what's up. So what's the experience like? I actually think the experience is very smooth. The driver is um, double guessing um, the moves of the taxi. So if the taxi goes indicate right, he will kind of do as you would do if you were driving and check the right, right wind mirror and see if there's any cars there just to like be sure that it's doing the right thing. No aggressive braking, no aggressive acceleration. Actually nicer than a real taxi driver in that way. Some human taxi drivers tend to be a little bit aggressive when they drive. But this raises a tough question, which is what happens to the normal taxi drivers? There are around 70,000 in Shanghai alone. Autonomous taxis promise cheaper, safer, and 24 seven taxi support. But what is the cost to the human population? Elon Musk says one day in the near future, Tesla owners will be able to let their cars work for them, making up to $30,000 a year as self-driving taxis. But we're not quite there yet. In the US, companies like Waymo and Cruise are leading the charge with over 600 vehicles across cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles. Still, regulatory hurdles and public skepticism have slowed things down. And unfortunately, there's usually regulation that holds things back. Meanwhile, in China, 15 cities across the country including Beijing, including Shanghai, including Wuhan, have already approved the use of driverless taxis. In fact, China's robo-taxi market is already valued at $12 billion compared to $8 billion in the US. And by 2040, many experts predict there'll be 12 million autonomous taxis on the road in China, as well as around 7 million in the US. That said, China is also tightening up. Following a tragic accident in the Xiaomi Su-7 recently, authorities have been banning car makers from using terms like autonomous driving and smart driving in ads for driver assist features. The goal is to reduce confusion and hold companies accountable for over-promising tech that's still in development. So after my robo taxi experience and what is the verdict? Well, I'd say overall it's actually very positive. I think the service was good. It was smooth. It was quick and the price was only slightly more expensive than it would be with a human driver. Of course, as these robo taxis are scaled up, we should expect this cost to go down a lot and actually be very cheap. And while it is driverless, it actually was an assistant, a safety operator, if you will, sitting in the front seat they did not touch anything throughout the whole journey. In fact, they did touch the steering wheel once or twice, and that was to push the horn. So that's right, although these cars can drive and turn and indicate all by themselves, they don't use the horn themselves. So in places like Shanghai or San Francisco, thing like a horn is actually a very, very important tool to get the traffic moving and, and keep things going, if you will. So I wonder if this is something which will be integrated into the robo taxis of the future. I felt the drive was actually very smooth. It was less aggressive than when it, with a human driver, which of course meant we arrived a little bit later. There were no wrong turns or kind of like mistakes in terms of changing lanes. Although I will say that the area in which these are being piloted is, is kind of quite simple and easy to drive. We have a separate lane 
for the bikes and the cars. I would say the experience was almost indistinguishable from a human driver. What do you think? Are you ready to see robo taxis on the road? Or are you ready to turn your Tesla at home into a robo taxi so we can start making some money for you? Make sure you let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.